What's up, everyone? Hope everyone is doing amazing today. So today I'm going to speak about how to stay motivated because I know dropshipping is not the simplest thing in the world. And some days in any kind of, you know, uh, entrepreneurial journey, we feel motivated and sometimes we don't. But, you know, at the end of the day, we need to find a way to keep the discipline and stay motivated in a way. So how can we stay motivated? How can I stay motivated uh, no matter what? Uh, even if I have hard days, even if I have, you know, uh, happy days, you know, on those happy days, it's not very complicated to be motivated. But on those, you know, more sad days, it's it it is a little bit uh, harder. So so the first thing that you want to do is clear goals, define short and long term goals, break them into smaller tasks for easy progress tracking. So you want to, you know, achieve um let's say your first 10K, your first 100K, your first uh, 500K, your first million dollars. So segment those goals, like celebrate those small goals that you have. Like really think about it. There's like, oh, I made my first sale. I remember like it was yesterday. My, like actually my first sale was a reusable straw. Reusable straw. I think it was back in 2000. 17 i believe i don't know exactly when it was well, like i don't exactly remember the date but i think it was um a reusable straw that's for sure i remember like it was yesterday uh, i was working in a hospital that was like my last job uh, that i had before i was uh, an, a fully an entrepreneur fully an entrepreneur and i was working in a hospital uh, you know cleaning cleaning uh toilets and I remember like it was yesterday, I saw uh, like I was cleaning and listening to music and I and I heard the chiching and I got my first sale and it was a pack of reusable straw. Uh, it wasn't a winner, to be honest, it just made one sale, but it gave me the hype. It gave me the wow, it is possible. So guys, um, you know, like celebrate those first win. You know, me and my brother now, we're you know, we're making money like every day, every month, every year with drop shipping, And it's fun. Obviously, it's fun. But, you know, those you will miss those those early days. So please put some clear goals, celebrate them, and this will keep you motivated. And this is one part of, you know, those five other points. But uh, having clear goals will absolutely help you. The other one is establish a routine. That's very, very important because, you know, create a consistent schedule to build a positive habit and maintain focus. So if you have a routine, you will um, do things consistently, even if you don't feel like it. And that's very powerful. You know, I've made a video, uh, I, think, um, I think it was a few days ago or a few weeks ago. I don't remember exactly, but I said that if you waste five minutes of your life, during 30 years, it's nine hour, 900 hours wasted. 900 hours wasted. And, you know, as human, we waste more than five minutes of our days. So establish a routine. Like, you know, time flies. So make sure you establish a routine because you're like, oh, yeah, I'm going to test one product a day. I don't know when, but I'm going to test one product a day. Well, uh, one product a week, but I don't want and. Two, three weeks go by and you haven't tested a product uh, because you were so busy. And this is the the thing that people say, oh, I was too busy. Yeah, you're, you're never too busy. It's just that you're not disciplined. You're not structured. You don't have a routine. That's the problem because you don't get, you don't forget to go to work. Obviously, you forget to test products, but you don't forget to go to work. Why? Because you have a routine. You have a routine that you need to wake up every morning and go to work. You need to you know, create the same routine for testing products. The third one is surround yourself with role models, motivational content, and visualize success. Follow us on YouTube. Don't forget to subscribe. So yeah, just you know, find people that you're uh that you want to be like. Be like, okay, like you know, um, I remember uh, like it was yesterday, I saw 
uh, you know, I speak French, me and my brother, we speak French. And when I started dropshipping, I was uh, looking at French dropshippers traveling the world, staying in Bali, staying in Dubai. And I was like, that's what I want. That's what I, that's what I want to do. I want to be in Bali. I want to, I want to be in Dubai and I want to be in those places and, you know, feel free in a way. And, and look at me now, like I'm literally in Bali, like I'm in, I'm in, a, in, a, in a villa with my brother. It's 30 degrees all, all, uh, like outside. We have, you know, incredible uh, women around us and uh, we're just, you know, very happy uh, overall. Uh, and that's why you need to seek inspiration because now we have, like I have what I wanted, um, my, my brother too, but now we need to seek bigger inspiration. Okay, what what is the next goal? What is the next big thing that we need to obtain? And you know, it's it's not on a on a healthy way. It's like, oh, they they want to get material materialistic things. No, no, it's just like you know, setting yourself some goals and you're rewarding yourself and you know, uh, giving you like inspiration. Like I want to be that like that guy, that a hundred million dollar guy. And, you know, we we want to create something in dropshipping that never has been created before. Guys, we all see those dropshippers that uh, eventually uh, leave dropshipping. Me and my brother, we're going to do dropshipping until we die. We're going to innovate inside dropshipping. We're going to create something crazy inside of dropshipping because it hasn't been exploited at, ex at its maximum. We strongly believe that. So... That's why you need to, you know, get inspired from those big people to to have that kind of mentality. So celebrate wins, acknowledge and celebrate even small achievements to boost confidence. You know, it's like uh, the goals. Like I said, like if you have, if you have um small wins, celebrate them. If you made your first sale, if you made. 50 sales if you made your first 1k a day celebrate those wins they're important you know a lot of people they're like working 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 they're seeing a little bit of results and they don't take the time to, to celebrate then if you don't do that you will you know exhaust yourself and it's it is just not good so please like just make sure uh, to celebrate those wins to take time for yourself but when I say take time for yourself, I'm not saying to take two, three weeks to relax and not do anything. I'm just saying take the time to sit down in your balcony or, you know, outside uh, with with a coffee, with an ice cream, whatever, and think about what you have achieved. That's what I'm saying. Not, oh, he said to take vacation now. No, that's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying celebrate those small wins with small celebration. That's what I mean. And um, the fifth one is stay positive and persistent. So maintain a positive mindset, setbacks as opportunities and, pers and persist through challenges. Guys, um, every day we have problems, me and my brother. We have problems every day. If it's not with the supplier, if it's not with the website, if it's not with the payment processors, like we have problems every day. We are, you know, fueling so many orders. So when you're, dealing with thousand and thousand and thousand of dollars every single day, you know, there's going to be some cracks here and there or things that are not stable. And we need to make sure that those things are stable, that those things are fixed. So we don't deal like um, normal problems. Let's say that way. We don't have that problem of having one sale. We don't, we have more problems like, Oh, we're getting our money hold or things like that. So those things are uh, a pain in the ass that needs to be fixed. But, um, you know, it's it's part of the process, but we stay positive because we're like, OK, there are some people that haven't made their first sale and we are here like, oh, I'm so mad because, you know, PayPal hold 500K of my money. I'm like, people don't some people don't even have 500K. Some people don't even will never see 500K in an in account. And we are here like. Like saying, oh, like, why? Like, you need to be grateful in a way. You need to stay positive. Like, okay, like, we're going to have 500K and hold. But at least we have 500K and we will get it eventually. So it's just part of the process. Like, uh, sometimes we we don't want to stay positive. We just want to see the bad side. But it's like, we all need to work. You know, our brain, we all need to work our brain, you know, something for, I'm very tired. I mean, my brother, we've been very working insanely uh, those past few uh, 
uh, you know, few days. Uh, we want to take advantage of 2024. Guys, we really want to show you what's possible inside of dropshipping. And we really want to create the biggest community. Um, you know, like I said, I'm going to say it again. I'm creating those Google Sheets because I want you to see everything inside of my mind. Um, I've seen, a, you know, a, a v, not a video, but a movie. It's called The Wolf of Wall Street. I'm pretty sure that a lot of you are familiar with that video. And inside The Wolf of Wall Street, um, the, the main character uh, was saying that, you know, uh, my talent is not being a good salesman yes i'm a good salesman but that's that's not my best talent my best talent is i can teach people how to become like me and that's a very 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 powerful tool and i believe that that's one of my talent too i'm able to take ideas of out of my head and i'm able to literally put down what i think so you can follow the same path that I follow. And it seems dumb, but all of those things are things that are encrypted in my brain and I do it automatically. So if you read those and you do it over and over and over again, you will do them automatically. And by looking at all the videos with product sheet that I've made, you will understand at the core how dropshipping works. You will understand that you need motivation, that you need, um, uh, that you need to stay disciplined, that you need to stay organized, that you need to have a system. You know that uh, that oh, that you need to test products, that you need to have a general all of those a general store, all of those things that are right and I tell you about is because I want you guys to have every single detail that it's here. Sometimes it's hard to put what it's inside because sometimes it's just natural for me. So I need to put words uh, that it can, um, you know, put there. But yeah, guys, those are uh, the four points, uh, the five points that are really important. And I'm going to try to really put as many information from my brain into those documents so you guys can really understand dropshipping and can really succeed. Um, so yeah, wish you all an amazing uh, rest of your night. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to comment. And yeah, peace out and take care. Love you guys.